Didn't Willie do a great job? We're doing Tag Team Tuesday every Tuesday now between 6 and 8. Um, next week I'll go on first. Thank you, Willie. And then um, we'll swap. She went first this week. Then next week I go first. And next week what we're doing is we're actually sharing a sign. Willie makes signs and I make signs. So we're making each other a sign and challenging each other to make a wreath from it. But I'm telling you right now, Willie's going to get hers and she's going to start crying. I know, isn't it, isn't it sexy? <laughs> so here we go. All right. We're going to be working with my one of my signs tonight, Live Love Rescue. I think what I'm going to do... I'm, I don't think I'm going to sell this wreath. I think I'm going to donate it to the SPCA. I think it would be an awesome thing to have hanging in there when they walk in. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If they want to sell it and raise money, whatever they want to do. I thought that would be interesting to give them something. All right, and then I have a dilemma, okay? Well, I made a new sign today, and I need you guys to vote on which one you like better, all right? Whether you like the blue background or the rusty tin background, which one would you vote for? I think I should put it on my, it says, heard you coming. <laughs> so which one do you like? The blue background or the galvanized background? Hey, Susan. Which one do you think? Look, I even wore my 70s earrings. Tonight. <laughs> See what Willie started with her mustache? <laughs> All right. I'll post those tomorrow. I'll post the picture. Everybody's saying blue so far. Okay. Blue, blue. Everybody likes the blue. Blue makes it pop. All right, then I guess I release it in the blue. <laughs> really likes the tin, the rusty tin figures. I'm telling you, I spent probably three out, two and a, two, almost two hours on Sunday making Wilhelmina's sign that I mailed to her already. And I'm telling you, she's going to get it and she's going to start crying. So. <laughs> It is so stinking cute. All right, so we're going to get started. I already did. I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull every darn color out of this sign. So the whole thing is going to be curls. All right. So what I did, I made a bunch already, but I'm going to show you how I made my bunches. Now these are cut. It's 10 inch mesh. Cut it 10 inches. <laughs> the oddball with the mustache. <laughs> All right. So these are cut at 10 inches. And then my tails are cut at 11 inches. All right. Now, every time I put in a bundle of four curls, I am going to put in um, two of my um, tails. Okay. And then I'm going to do red, blue, and then in the middle one, I'm going to have this. It's going to look like that. All right. So in each section, there will be five. Two will be of the um, red and yellow and two of the blue, and then one with this in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made my bundles. I got a whole bunch of them down here already made up. 
but I thought I'd do a couple in front of you. All right. If I'm missing your comments, I'm sorry. All right. So, and I'm keeping them in the order that I cut them. Just because I want the whole thing to look uniform. All right. So, did you all catch Willie? If you didn't, you need to go check out the replay. She did an awesome arrangement in a little bike. Now, every Tuesday, my, my night has changed. I will no longer be on on Monday nights. I will be on on Tuesday nights. It will either be at 6 or it will be at 7. Willie and I are doing Tag Team Tuesday, so we are switching each week who goes first. All right. And I thought I'd dress up for you guys tonight. I finally heard I'm going to get a haircut at <laughs> the end of June. So that leaves one more Corona haircut. <gasps> Willie makes signs and I make signs. So. Now what I've been doing is, you know how much I hate pipe cleaners. But I'm using these to do my bundles. All right. So I get the bundle. And then I get the, I'm going to use the first, the two middle ones. So the first one is going to be a red and yellow. Y'all doing good? But. I am going to use, I got a thousand of these zip ties, so I'm going to use them up. And it's just going to make this stronger on here to hold it in place. I even made some little dog bones, but I'm going to put some sayings on them and then I'm going to put them in here. Come on, y'all, spread the love for me if you wouldn't mind. And I can't grip these for, to save my life. So I'm just going to use my pliers and then I'm going to squish it over. I think with these colors and this sign, it is going to look gorgeous. All right, so the first, I rolled them all out together and I just cut four at a time. So, thank you, Missy. And yo, I have to share Missy's wreath with you all later. She used, um, she used the yellow one of my welcome, which, because I had people asking, I have it in yellow and I have it in purple. So it can either be this way or this way. Okay. Scissors. I like to just trim those off if they're sticking out. And next Tuesday, I will be first at 6. And Willie will be next at 7. And we have swapped signs. So, she has to make a wreath out of the sign I send her. And I have to make a wreath out of the sign she sends me. Won't that be cool? Okay, so I have half a pipe cleaner that I'm using to bundle it and twist it. I 
And now I'm going to use the blue and the green. And then I'm going to attach my zip tie there and zip tie it to the wreath base. Suckers aren't coming off here, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, darling. That's one of my BFFs. I'm telling you, she's going to be crying when she gets that sign tomorrow. She's going to be crying, and then she's going to be laughing. <laughs> I put her in the sign and I put me in the sign. Okay, so I did a red and yellow and now I did a blue and green. So my next one is going to be the black with the paw prints. You see how I'm doing it? And if you get a chance and you're not um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go do that. And the cow sign with the blue background, I guess I will add that to, the, um, to my Etsy store tomorrow. All the other signs are on there already, including the big one that I posted. This one can be personalized. For a person's campsite, I put the names on the marshmallows and then their last name on the sign. And then they had two dogs, so I added their dog's names on there. Turned out really cute. They have it at where you enter their campsite now. Hey, Jeannie. Welcome. It's Tag Team Tuesday. We're doing a good curled method. I've got four 10 inch pieces of mesh in different colors and I cut them at 10 inches and then I cut my tails at 11 inches. But now in this one, this one is cut at 22 inches. Okay, and I'm going to make it like an awareness ribbon to go in here. It's always going to be in the middle bundle. I thought that would be different. Maybe they should have an awareness ribbon for a rescue. I don't know if they do. But I ended up using uh, four rolls of mesh. It's a good way to use up um, leftover mesh if ever you wanted to. I have to pull with my pliers and then push that over. So like I said, there's six sections in here. This is a Dollar Tree reef base. So there's six sections. And in each section, I have five. And in the middle, number three will be the black and white. So I'm actually pulling all the colors out of my new sign. Okay. All right. Next one is the red and yellow. I'm just rolling them up really tight. I'll zoom down here so you can see. That way you have a better view of what I'm doing. This is the curled method. We're just curling these four colors, cut it 10 inches. 
Now, if you wanted to, if you couldn't hold them in your hand, you could also put them in your Bodabra to hold them for you. And I'm rolling them in the order that I cut them because I want the whole thing to look uniform. Because my luck, if I tried to do it the other way, would make it, I'd end up having to change it all because I wouldn't like it. So, just trying to make it easy from the start. Now, I left a few to roll up so you could see how I'm doing it. But because this method is so time consuming, I decided to um, do a bunch of bundles ahead of time. All right, so we did the blue, we did the black last. So we're going to do the red and yellow. Y'all having a good night tonight? Turn it over. So many of these little zippy ties, it's time to get rid of them. Fold tighter, hence my handy pliers. They ain't going nowhere once they're on there. And then you can fluff it out. It's just so much easier to put your ribbon tails on when you're doing your bundles. rather than go back later on. It just makes it so much easier. And now we want a blue and a green. Yes, it can be. Where are you, where are you watching from, Megan? Tuesdays will now be Tag Team Tuesday for Willie and I. Next week, Willie has to make a wreath with the sign I send her, and I have to make a wreath with the sign she sends me. From Illinois, what's it like out there? Is everybody staying safe? Now I do have this sign in two different two different sayings. One says live, love, rescue, and the other one says live, love, bark. Y'all, I smell like drift or dift. That baby laundry detergent. I've been watching my grandson during the day. See, I cut my pipe cleaners in half, and they're not strong enough to hold them to the wreath base. That's why I went ahead, and I'm using my zippy ties. Now this one gets a blue and a green. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, Susan. I'll check it out when it when I'm. And we take our zip tie and we zip tie it to the wreath. Oh, good. Wow. 
I mean, things are just crazy. They get harder the closer we get to this. Jeez, it fell apart. Priscilla, I don't always look like this. <laughs> I'm using 10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches. Lily just thought it'd be cute to entertain you guys tonight. She wore a mustache. I didn't have a mustache. So I, I put on this silly get up. I thought I'd dress up with my 70s earrings and this crazy apron I have. I know, right? Aren't they so vibrant? I love these primary colors. Got every color in this that matches the sign. Okay. Looks like we got two more of these and then I'll go a little faster because I got all my bundles already set up. Thank you. Redheads do not wear red. So that's why I've never worn this apron before. <laughs> I do not like red. I love the color. Don't misunderstand me, but redheads do not wear red. It's, it's just, you don't. So. I just thought I'd dress up for you. Lily started it with the mustache. Right, Will? Oh, and did you see? Can you see? I'm now doing little, um, name tags for dogs. Whoops. Ah. Aren't they cute? Trying to get it so the light's not hitting on it. I just did this one for a customer. It says Duchess. And then this one, it says Maddie. I can put the phone number on the front or I can put it on the back. So we could do the name on one and then the, then the, you know, then the phone number on the back. They're only about a little under two inches. It's nice because they're nice and light for the smaller dogs. I've seen some dogs where their tags just weigh them down because they're so heavy. I know. <gasps> and wait, do you see what else I'm making? Uh, they just came today, so I want to make a couple first and see how they look before I show you. Um, this sign, I love this sign, the bunting. That one I love. That can be personalized. Yeah, I have like 150 dog bone designs to choose from. It comes in circle or it comes in the bone shape. <laughs> Poor Willie wants a dog so bad. That's what fell in the trash. My red dog bone. I, I had a red, a blue, and a yellow up here and I heard something fall, but I didn't see anything go down. There it is. It's clean trash. It's just mesh. So. But yeah. Alright. So next. We should be doing the red and yellow. Right? So we end with blue and green. Hey, 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 Dawn. Hey, Pam. Welcome.
you're you're at tag team tuesday i will no longer be going live on a monday it will be on a tuesday and willie and i are going to flip flop thank you appreciate that pam so this week willie went live first at six so next week i go live at six and next week we are, we are sharing signs, because Willie and, and Steve are making signs now. So I made Willie a sign, and she made me a sign. So we're going to use each other's sign to make a wreath. Wouldn't that be cool? Now I think we ought to take up a collection so Willie can have her mustache bleached. <laughs> yes, they're all to match the sign. Live, love, rescue. Now I gotta put on my glasses. And they're kind of clashing. I won't cry. <laughs> Willie's going to be crying when she gets her sign. Then she's going to bust out laughing. Waxed. Gotcha. Come here. I'll wax it for you. <laughs> I even have the wax. We'll teach Steve how to do it. Like he wants one more thing to do. <laughs> we figured, Willie and I, since we don't live near each other, this is just a way we can spend time together. All right, so we did the red and yellow. Now we do the blue and the green. The tails are cut at 11 inches, so they would stick up a little bit above the mesh. And I'm using zippy ties because I have an abundance of them. And I want to get rid of them. Slippery little buggers. Oh no. I hope you're all staying safe. I'm telling you, this world is starting to really scare me. Okay, we're done with those bundles. So now I can just zip right through it here. <laughs> no, this is Robin. <laughs> All right, so we already did a red and blue in this section. So our next one is going to be a 22 inch um, ribbon tail with the um, black and white. There we go. Each section, Priscilla has uh, five. I used four rolls of mesh and slippery buggers. Okay. Look. I've been taking care of my grandson today and I can still smell that baby shampoo. I'm loving it though. He's such a cutie. And he's so good. Except when he blasts out a diaper. So I'm just leaving like a little loop there. I'm letting the tails hang down. 
All right, so the next one, this, that's three, so we need two more in this section. See, now I can just go to here, grab this, grab that. It is, but it's really starting to irritate my nose for some reason. See, I, I use Norwick, so I use a special detergent and everything. So none of them, I don't use any cleaning products with a scent, nothing. So it's, it's a little getting used to. That's for sure. Try to figure out a way to hold this. There we go. Without looking like I'm uncoordinated and sticking out my tongue. <laughs> there. Woo! Look at that. Okay, we got enough room to fit one more in there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to, you know, fluff out my tails and such. But look at those colors. Isn't that going to look beautiful? All right, so we got the blue and green. All right. And like I said, I think I'm going to donate this to the SPCA. I think they need something colorful when people walk in. Right? Alright, so we got five in each section. Mesh is ten inches. It's ten inch mesh cut at ten inches. I know I'm repeating myself, but new people popping on. I want them to know. There we go. All right, so that section is full. So we've got three more sections left. So we got 15 more bundles to go. Aren't you glad I did this ahead of time? <laughs> We'd be here all night. I put in a little... Uh, link in there for my Etsy store which all my signs are listed in there except the cow sign now y'all looked at the cow sign and you were all in agreement that you liked the blue background right oh thank you girl oh look at the colored hearts Woo -hoo -hoo. well Lillian Tonight is Tag Team Tuesday, and Willie started it when she wore a mustache. <laughs> so, it was like, all right, she's up in the ante. We're going to do Tag Team Tuesday every Tuesday. Everybody's saying they like the blue background on the cow. It says, heard you coming. Get it? <laughs> I could do a red background, too. I bet you that would look good on there, too. All And then you got to watch next Tuesday because Willie and I are trading signs and she's got to use my sign and I got to use hers. Except I'm telling you, she's not going to sell her sign or her wreath after she, after she makes it. She's not going to want to. And it'll probably be there tomorrow. All right, so we want a blue and a green. So, yep, that's why I'm dressed up. I never wear a hat. But I thought, what the heck?
you're around Willie long enough, you'll learn you got to laugh at yourself. Right, Will? So. So we've already done two into that section. So now the third is always the 22 inch black and white. Absolutely. Wait a minute, now I sound like Lori. That's Lori's favorite saying. Absolutely. Jeez, I hope she's not on watching. <laughs> I love it when she says it, though. She's got that North Carolina twang, and I love it. I shared my grandson on during class today. I don't normally do that, but he was just so cute. I'm not allowed to post pictures of him, so I thought, well, there's no record of it, so I can do it. <laughs> she was watching you. <laughs> Willie went out of her comfort zone and she did uh, a floral arrangement. Oh my God, it was so cute. A little bicycle. So you'll have to go back and watch the replay if you aren't on. <laughs> She's got her eye on us. <laughs> She's watching us, Willie. She's worried about us. <laughs> it's all in fun. And I don't know if you noticed, but some of the girls on your live uh, were ones that we met in Rochester. I thought they'd come over. I don't see them on here. So I guess they didn't want to come see me. They just wanted to see your mustache. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was the one I bought the. I traded the snowman ribbon. Remember, she bought it in the one color, and I wanted that color, and then we swapped. That was pretty cool. All right, one more in this section. We're getting down there, ladies. Yeah, I keep in touch with Cindy, the one who sucked up all the door prizes. I know everybody is saying, well, wait a minute, you breed, so why are you doing a rescue sign? I breed and I rescue. And in my contracts, it states, if at any reason, any time they own, they have one of my puppies, they cannot rehome that dog or take it to a rescue. It has to come back here. So... So, yep. And I have people sometimes that just drop Yorkies off here. That's happened a couple of times. And one, they called me to come pick them up, and that poor thing needed surgery. And that surgery is over four thousand dollars. 
So I rallied all my puppy parents and we went and raised the money and then took them for the surgery. Did anybody's video freeze? Sandy is asking and I can't tell. <coughs> Yep. We live in an area where there are some Amish and Mennonite people. And I guess now they know my love for the breed. So when they have one that's very sick, and they usually they just put them down. Now they call me. So. which I'm glad they call me. So I usually go and get them. And then find out what's wrong with them and rehome them. I am a true Yorkie lover. Through and through. I hope it's just your internet. Anybody else having that trouble? Susan said she's not. Yeah. But boy, that one was really sick. Then we got one that had um, an umbilical hernia. And I researched it and found out that for some, they don't need surgery. There's a way to force the muscles to, to grip it better and... I did it and we fixed it through just that. Tightening the muscles, pushing it back up. And uh, that pup is three or four. And the one that had the liver shunt, he just had a birthday on Memorial Day. And I think, I wanna say he's about nine or 10. Susan, the mesh is a 10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches and put into bundles. I lay them all one on top of the other. So then when I cut, I'm cutting four at one time. Usually I just roll it out and I put something heavy and then I just pull and cut, pull and cut, pull and cut. All right, so we've done ton it two in that bundle. So the next bundle is going to be with the 22 inch black and white. And the tails are cut at 11 inches, except for this one's cut at 22. And this is the one that goes in the middle. Whoa. My computer is sliding. I have a couple videos I want to share later. Missy did a wreath with my new welcome sign. She did it with the yellow. So I got to go back and share that. Yeah, I thought it'd be a different a change. Besides, I wanted to get all the colors in there. So I thought, well, heck, this is a way to get all the colors in there, right? Okay, now we do two more, a red and a, and a blue one. And then we have one more section. And then we'll put on the sign. So we need red and yellow. I think we're going to donate this one to the SPCA. I'll take it up and tell them I think they need to just make this place pop and stick it on the wall. I think that would be awesome. 
they don't like it, they can donate it, or raise money. I'm going to go back at the end and fix the kales. It's easier to do at the end anyhow. For me, it is. I used a half a pipe cleaner to make my bundles. There's five bundles in each section, so there's six sections, so that's 30 bundles. Right? Yeah, 30 times five is six. The wreath frame is a 14-inch Dollar Tree wreath frame. Yes, I can, Lillian. I don't know if I brought down my Yorkie one. I have one sign that says, Life is good, Yorkies make it better. Or whatever dog breed you have, I can, um, I can personalize it to the breed that you have. If that's what you're, if you're saying, sh Sheltsy, right? And better yet, if you have a picture of your dog and you want to send it to me, um, I can even put the picture of the dog in there and put the dog's name on there too. Like I did one, who did I do one for? Just recently, and they have a dog named Abraham. So... You are so welcome, Sharon. Oh, a Shih Tzu? Is that what you're saying? Whatever. Send me a picture. I can't find... I, I did find online they're so cute you know the um char the characters characters blah, um of the dogs with the real big ex the face is like exaggerated they're adorable oh i did a license plate for a lady and her dog had passed and we put on the license plate you know the year it was born the year it passed. It was so cute. All right, we're on the last section. So it's only got five bundles left. Right? One, two, three, four, five. How did we end up with more? I put five in each section. Did I not count? Let's see what the... So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. I counted, right? I just, I guess, made extra bundles that I didn't have to. <laughs> oh, well. Sure thing. Just send me a picture, Lillian. All right, what one are we doing next? The red and yellow. See, and I, I, I figured out, okay, if I was doing five in each section, for each section I have two red and two yellow, and two blue and two green, and then one with the black. That's why I went ahead and did five in each section. Um, for a fuller wreath, you could do six. But with you, that's only, you know, if you were using like three in a bundle, I'm using four in a bundle. So that's why I went with five. So I could evenly place my, um, evenly place my, my ribbon tails. Okay. See you, Susan. Thanks for stopping. That means Missy's going too. <laughs> Enjoy. Slippery little booger. A 
Okay, thanks, Esther. Thanks for spreading the love. Esther Sweetie came home. She's got to go. All right. So next we do a blue and green. I have, I thought it would be neat, too, to somehow put these bones on here and then probably use my um, brother cut and scan to put live, la live, love, rescue on them. So that will probably be finished up tomorrow. To me, it's much easier to put the ribbon tails. Yes, it does get tucked near the end. But it's much easier doing the tails at the same time you do the bundle. The sucker is bright. I love it. And I want to make sure that they're on here really good. And because I don't like pipe cleaners. That's why I'm using the zip ties. The two middle ones, Betty. These frames have four rows. I'm just zip tying to the two middle. Well, hey, Wanda. I don't normally look like this. <laughs> Willie's wore a mustache, so... I decided to wear a hat. We're doing Tag Team Tuesday. Every Tuesday we're going to go live. And Willie, if she, if I go live first, then she goes live second and vice versa. Where are you watching from? Oh, from Virginia. Duh. <laughs> That's where Willie's from. So we've got four rolls that I used for this. 10 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. And the ribbon tails are cut at 11 inches. And there's five in each section. So in each section there will be two with red and yellow ribbon, two with blue and green ribbon, and the one in the middle will have the white and black paw print ribbon. I purposely did it that way. Most people will do six bundles per section, but I couldn't do that because when you're doing that many, I mean six bundles, you're usually using three colors. I'm using four colors. So I knew at the end it was gonna get tight. So. That's why I went ahead and only did five bundles. And I seriously could have gotten away with four, but then that would have messed my uh, ribbon, um, my ribbon up. So I must have cut an extra one of those. Hmm. Cut extra bundles and I cut extra ribbon tail. What the what? Where in Virginia? I know Willie's probably wondering. Willie lives in Norfolk. This is one of my newest signs. Newer signs. It says live, Lo live, love, rescue. Or I have one that says live, love, bark. But in looking out there at all the dog signs there are, they're so plain. There's not a lot of color. Huh. Willie's near you. So that's why I decided, because dogs are fun. 
and you need some color when you have dogs. So the dog wreaths needed to have some color. That ribbon tail is stuck in there. There we go. All right, one more left. And then we put on the sign. Yeah, I got about four extra bundles. Ugh. Now I'm, I'm doing a live tomorrow at two. So, should I use this sign? Since we all voted and everybody likes the blue better. Should I use this sign for the wreath tomorrow? It said, heard you coming. Or should I put up a bunch of signs and you guys vote on which one you want to see tomorrow? What's your call? Aw, thank you, Marsha. Thank you. And you can see with these zip ties, it's easy. I can just count them. The last one is always hard to get in. But I'm doing it. Eek. That's what's nice about making your own signs. You can start a new trend. All the old signs for dogs are just so plain. My other one has color to it. All right, I saw one in here where I only used a pipe cleaner, and that would be this one. So I want to go in and reinforce that with a, with a zip tie. That was the first one I put on. Come on, where are you? Yeah, see, it already came apart. So we're pulling that out of there. And we're ditching that bundle. Might as well use a new one. We're ditching that, too. You can use pipe cleaners. You're just going to have to use a whole one. I cut mine in half. So, I went ahead and used pipe cleaners to make the bundle, but then I'm using the zippy ties to tie it to the wreath base. This makes it nice. And because the way I have it planned out with my ribbons, um, they're not duplicating at the end. Five bundles, two with red and yellow, two with blue and green, and then the black in the middle. So I really, and see I can go back at the end and I can twist these. Oh crap. I put it on the wrong one. Duh. <sighs> Popping off at me put it on the outer two and I meant to put it on the inner two. So we're just going to do it right. You think the SPCA will like this wreath? Or do you think they'll tell me to take it back? Or I could just do an auction. Maybe I'll call them and say, look, I made a wreath. If you don't like it, I'll do an auction and I'll send you the money. So maybe they won't like it. That one's on the outer ones too. So that's not right. Wait a minute. That's where... Okay. That's where this came in. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! There was an extra set there for a reason. Where'd I put my blue? There it is. There I had cut out 
the right amount of ribbon. I just didn't have the right amount of bundles. There we go. Now it's right. It's always hard to get the zip tie started because I'm using the little ones because I have an abundance of them from doing the Unique in the Creek boards. It's not that I don't like the Unique in the Creek boards. I just haven't done any in a while. I have some to do. And really, these signs would fit awesome in the middle of it, the regular ones. There. Now yeah, we're right. And then I'll go through and I'll fix all my ribbon tails. Be easy to do that now. All right. So let's see where we want. I think I'm going to put, I think this will look best right in the middle. Oh no. Low battery. Jeez. I'm going to charge that sucker up. Well, if I lose you, I lose you. I think I'm going to put. holes right here. Oh, I'm missing some comments. Jeez. Well, I know Lori's going to be having a class on sign making. So if you ever wanted to make a sign, that would be the class to go to. I know there's a lot of people doing them. But I'm going to be making different things, not just signs. Boy, this is one full sucker. Light twist. Good. Usually I tie them too tight. No, I don't. I've got so much on my plate now. <laughs> Maybe in the future, Pam. You never know. A lot of videos out there. Alright. If I lose you, I lose you guys. Because the battery is going on my phone. And that's what's operating the Mevo. So... I'm sorry if it goes off. I charged it. And the bundles are tight in here. And again, that's because I'm using... I don't know, Susan, if I'm going to do a bow. I kind of, I want to put a few bones on it, so I don't know. I, ha I sometimes have to sit back and look at it. And if I go to start a bow, I may lose you because of my phone battery is going. 
So I'll have to kind of see. All right, there we go. Live, love, rescue. And then I'll put a few bones on here. So I don't know, I may have room down at the bottom. With all the tails, the ribbon tails, I don't know if I need a bow. I have to um, go back and pull them all out. Thank you. I thought it was different. Because like I said, what's out there is so plain. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Like I said, there's Live, Love, Rescue or Live, Love, Bark, and it's in my Etsy store. So, check it out. We've got the black in there. And I always tell everybody, if you need ribbon, I carry ribbon too. If you don't see it, you just have to ask. Got some awesome ribbon picked out for Christmas, and uh, the company isn't getting back to me. So, thank you. Don't they look cute on there? Maybe up here. Probably would have been better maybe to make the, uh, the ribbon tails at 12 inches. Because then I think it would have stuck out a little more. I mean, I'm pulling them out, and they are visible, but I think another inch might have um, made it really visible. So we'll see. Maybe I can just do a simple bow with the black and white. Maybe that's what it needs. Just the hand bow. Yeah, I thought it would. I wanted to put some balls on it. <laughs> I didn't want to go there. I'm trying not to hurry, but my phone's about to die. And it is operating my Mevo. So, maybe, yeah, maybe just the black and white make it different. <laughs> I told you, you're crazy for both, for balls. Let's just kind of grab this real quick. I wasn't even on my phone at all today. I didn't even call Willie. Yeah, I think that that's the ticket. Let's do the simple black and white. That way you're not taking away from the other colors. Just a simple hand bow. Back 
about ready to get out my giant needle. It doesn't go down on its own real soon. Okay. Now I'm losing my bones. There it is. Thank you. Sometimes simple is better, I think. Okay. What's your opinion now? Just nice and simple. And then we put our bones up here. I couldn't, I, I colored these with marker. And then I'm going to stain them after I put the words on them. Um, I do have these, so if you decide you want the sign, I can also send you the bones. But there we go. A very colorful rescue sign. And maybe I shouldn't leave out cats. Like, maybe I should put, make it for dogs and cats. So maybe I need fish on there. Fish on. Or maybe just a couple of balls. I thank you for hanging out with me and spreading the love. It's appreciated. Yeah, because those paw prints can be for a dog or a cat. So maybe I need to put some balls on here. Put some balls. That looks too much like Christmas. I have a whole bunch of different colored pom-poms. Maybe if I just put some small pom-poms in there. Look like a cat toy. I don't know. I'll figure something out. It's not done yet. It's a work in progress. So. Alright, guys. Oh. Dear, I'm so sorry. I know how that is. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's the hardest thing about owning a pet. Is saying goodbye. All right, guys, you have a great evening. Thank you very much. And thanks for joining Wilhelmina and I. Wall Decor by Faye and Robin's Re3 will now be on every Tuesday for Tag Team Tuesday. And we got a lot of real neat things planned, so you don't want to miss it out. Miss out. Okay? Good night. Good night, girlfriend. Call me when you get your sign. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great evening. Thanks. <laughs>